friends, and welcome back to episode 38 of the Adventures with Stuffers podcast. I am so sorry for the brief hiatus, but sometimes you just need to take a break and take care of yourself, which is exactly what I did. But if I'm being honest, I needed a little break and I needed to kind of regroup and see what I wanted to do with the show, where I wanted to take it, and what I was going to do with the summer because honestly, people have lives during the summer and they go on vacation, myself included, and I think I found a nice little solution moving forward, at least just for the summer through the end of August. I'm going to do a little summer series with stuffers where I'm going to highlight probably my most popular or my most important, at least to me, tips about going to Universal Orlando. Maybe I'll sprinkle in some Disney in there too. But I think I'm going, these episodes will be shorter, but overall I think you will, you know, take away something of value. So if you have any specific questions or any, you know, specific tips that you want me to share, please at me on Twitter or DM me on Instagram or text me if you know me like in real life. Um, And I will make sure to work it into one of the episodes. These episodes will be every other week. So this week I have a tip for you. And then we're going to skip next week because 4th of July, holidays, we're, we're doing all that. And then it'll be July 13th and so on and so forth every other week through the end of August. Which I will say that August is going to be our one year of having this show out into the ether. A one year of you guys supporting me and one year of giving you quality content, I hope. Um, But I've interviewed so many of my great friends. I have more people that I want to share with you. So after this summer series, we will get back into that. But until then, I figured if you follow me on TikTok, if you follow me on Instagram, I share a lot of different tips for your vacation when you're planning it different trip hacks, if you will. I share a lot of point of views to kind of scratch that itch if you're missing the parks. And my number one most popular tip slash trip hack that I have is what I figured I would kick off this series with. And that is staying at a premier hotel, so Royal Pacific, Portofino Bay, or Hard Rock Hotel, for one night will give you express passes for two days. So it'll be your check-in day and your check-out day. And this is one of my hidden gem tips that I want to say because not a lot of people realize that if you purchase express separately, sometimes the cost of a one-night stay at these hotels is cheaper. And now that's not always the case and sometimes it's just not in people's budget to do this. And I completely understand that. This is strictly if it's in your budget, if, you know, you're looking at Express anyway and you're like, "Mm, is there a better way to do this? This, to me, is your ticket to success right here. You, I mean, Royal Pacific typically is the cheaper option in terms of the premier hotels. So if it's just you and one other person, I recommend doing it that way. If not, Hard Rock Hotel is a great hotel for kids. Portofino Bay is really nice for that romance and Italian feel. So I highly, highly, highly recommend checking that out. And I also recommend booking your vacation either as soon as possible or within like your six month window only because prices go up, availability gets scarcer and scarcer and and to ensure the best price, I would do it as soon as possible. With that being said, say you book your vacation and it's, you know, eight, 10 months in advance and you check just for fun to see what the prices are, you know, four, six months before your trip, and you see that there's a lower rate. Universal will always work with you. If you give them a call, they will go ahead and if the rate is still available when you call, they will go ahead and change it and update it to that lower price. So that is absolutely 
no problem on them. They do not have to, typically they don't have to cancel your reservation. They just go ahead and retroactively change your rate and update your reservation to that lower rate as well. Now, some of you might say, Suffers, I love you, but Premier Hotels are just not in my budget. Is there any, are there any other hotels that you recommend or where would you rank each of the Universal Hotels? And it wouldn't be me if I didn't lay it all out for you guys and kind of give you my, it's, this is just my opinion, but where I would rank each hotel, kind of steer you in terms of which one is the most budget friendly, which ones have, you know, different amenities, all the things, I will break it down for you. I will say, if you are more of a reader than listening to me yap on about these hotels, you can head to adventureswithstuffers.com slash blog, and I do have a Best Universal Orlando Resort Hotels blog post that you are free to check out, kind of refer back, actually, after this episode if you feel so inclined, but I kind of break down, you know, the different tiers, where what rooms start at, and all that jazz, and what the rooms come with, but I can run that through right now. So we start off with the value hotels. These rooms, standard rooms, start at around $88 per night, and that is Universal's Endless Summer Resort. You have Dockside Inn and Suites and Surfside Inn and Suites. So both of those resorts make up Universal's Endless Summer Resort, but they're two, you know, they're like yin and yang, two halves of a whole. They're two different hotels, but they make up the resort in and of itself. I personally haven't stayed there, but I do have friends that that have, and they love the suites. Um, I have also heard things like the walls can be thin or it can be overcrowded and loud, but if you're literally just there to sleep and you're trying to get a good deal, I highly recommend checking out uh, Endless Summer Resort, either Dockside or Surfside, and if you have stayed there or if you're, you know, going to stay there, please let me know how you thought your experience was or when your next trip is when you're staying there. I personally will probably not make it out to the Endless Summer Resort. I have honestly silly personal reasons that I won't do it, but my main one is is I personally don't like being so far away from the parks. I'm used to taking a water taxi or walking and with Endless Summer you have to take the shuttle buses. So that's just something that's personal preference for me. And the hotels are further away, so it will take you a little bit longer. And then once you get off the shuttle buses, you have to go through security at CityWalk, which isn't usually a big deal for literally most people, but I am so spoiled and I have gone through the simple uh, security, go through Hard Rock Hotel or when I'm about to get on the water taxi from Sapphire. And it's so much easier than going through CityWalk that I just can't see doing it any other way. Now in this next tier, Prime Value Hotels, there are two hotels that are in this tier, Universal's Aventura Hotel and Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Standard rooms start at $132 a night, and I have stayed in both of these. I actually stayed at Aventura Hotel earlier this month for the first time by myself, and I will say, if you're looking for a hotel that is quiet, has a modern feel, you are into, you know, rooftop bars and and kind of just calmness and quiet, I highly recommend staying at Aventura Hotel. It is, everything is controlled by the iPad in the room. Um, everyone was super friendly and it was honestly so, so quiet. I heard absolutely no one my entire say and I thought that there was no one on my floor. But... It's still not my favorite, and I don't think it makes it into my top three. Uh, As for Cabana Bay Beach Resort, this is 150% the perfect place for families. Uh, With my husband and I, we don't stay there personally just because it's not really one of our favorites, but the Lazy River is great, and if you get a volcano uh, view room, it is so beautiful and so just immersive because you literally look out your window and it's like, wow, Volcano Bay is right there. Which, side note, we absolutely love Volcano Bay and you get your own entrance if you stay at Cabana Bay for Volcano Bay. 
So I highly re recommend checking that out, especially if you are a family, you want to take part in the Lazy River, it, and they also have a bowling alley. Highly recommend. For us, it was one of the louder options, so it wasn't something that really fit what we were looking for in a hotel, but for the price point, highly recommend checking it out. I will say both of these hotels are also shuttle bus access only to the parks. Aventura Hotel, you can actually walk next door to Sapphire and catch the water taxi, or you can be like me and you can take a nice 20 minute walk to the parks, which that second one I highly don't recommend because it's hot in Florida and I didn't realize it would take that long. Um, but I walked to Sapphire and caught the water taxi, no issue. And I also took the shuttle bus with no issue. Um, I, I, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the shuttle buses in any capacity or at any theme park, but when you have to do it, you have to do it. And it was super easy and super quick from Aventura Hotel, Cabana Bay, also same thing. They're about the same distance. One is just across the street from the other. So keep that in mind. You have to take a shuttle bus, but the prices are definitely lower. And my absolute favorite hotel, which is in the preferred hotel tier, is Lowe's Sapphire Falls. Standard rooms start at 181 a night. And I, there's something about this hotel, the ambiance, the, the smells, the beauty of it, that it just knocks me out every single time. I will say that we don't get express with our stay at Sapphire Falls, so we tend to only stay at Sapphire during non-peak, or if I'm by myself and I can get a good deal, I stay at Sapphire Falls. The staff is always super friendly. It's honestly really quiet. They have different towers with different views. The pool is amazing. I will say that the rooms at Sapphire and the rooms at Aventura, the bathrooms have like a barn door, sliding door situation. So the privacy isn't optimal if you're staying with people that you know are, you don't know very well or, you know, in case you really want your privacy. That's just something to keep in mind. But there is plenty of space. It is fairly large and I don't feel cramped at all. And the island theming, like I said, is just amazing. So I highly recommend you check out Sapphire Falls if it's within your budget on your next trip. And the Piece de Resistance, the premier hotels, like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, uh, Lowe's Royal Pacific Hotel, Hard Rock Hotel, and Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel, they start between $250 and $300 a night, depending. Uh, Royal Pacific will be on the lower end, and Portofino Bay is typically on the higher end. You get Express, which I think is an amazing deal for that price. It comes with, it'll be for anyone that is on the reservation. So if you're a family of four and you book it for four people, they will give you Express for four. You get it the check-in day and you get Express on the check-out day. So you can literally stay there a night and you'll be covered for two of your park days. Hard Rock Hotel is my number one top choice. It is walking distance to Universal Studios which I personally love. They have a butterfly garden that's a nice little cut through. I will say that if you're going during hurricane season and there's like a really big storm coming, the walkways do flood. So just keep that in mind because my husband and I ran into that problem last year during Halloween Horror Nights and it was an experience to say the least. The kitchen is also a restaurant that is at the Hard Rock Hotel. It is phenomenal. We always make sure to get brunch, breakfast, any meal there is amazing. We even have a waiter that we always ask for when we go, but the buffet is so good. And they also have like a waffle pancakes uh, station. Highly recommend. Please, 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 if you can go check it out. Hard Rock is amazing for kids as well. Portofino Bay, I reserve for if I'm feeling romantic, if we're celebrating an anniversary, or if we're just feeling, you know, like we want to have a more sophisticated, more Italian themed, there's just something about Portofino Bay that just is so immersive. The Italian theming is amazing. I will say I do get lost nine times out of 10 when I stay at this hotel, but it is so worth it. And the rooms are huge. So if it is in your budget, highly recommend splurging and staying. It's perfect for a honeymoon or an anniversary 
or honestly, if you just like Italy themed, take your family, take your spouse, take your partner, take anyone, take your sister, take your brother, just stay there. It's amazing. Okay, so with all of these hotels, the rooms typically include a hair dryer, mini fridge, iron and ironing board, coffee maker. I don't know if I would really use the coffee makers in the rooms. I don't know how often they're cleaned, but they all also have a Starbucks coffee situation, so I would probably do that. And you get complimentary basic Wi-Fi. I kind of mentioned this while I was running down my list here. But if I had to recommend three hotels to you, Sapphire Falls, if you do not need to express, Hard Rock Hotel, and then Portofino Bay would be my top three. For families who are just looking for a place to sleep, they enjoy a lazy river, they want to go bowling, Cabana Bay, hands down, absolutely hands down. And if you're going for like a solo trip or if it's just a little quick, I just need a place to sleep. Aventura is not a bad place to stay at all. Um, An endless summer will always be the budget-friendly option um, for anyone who is also in the, I'm literally there just to sleep. I don't really care. I just need to save money. That would be your go-to option as well. I promise you this trip hack works. If you stay at a premier hotel though for one night and you get the check-in and check-out day uh, with Express, I've seen people book their trips and let me know on TikTok that, hey, like, thank you so much for letting me know. It saved my family like $500 or $300, whatever the amount is. If you save even, you know, $50 to $100, that's at least a meal or at least one person's meal. So I highly recommend checking that out when you're planning your trip. If you need help planning your trip or if you have any questions, my DMs are always open. So please do not hesitate. Or if you need more info or photos of the hotels that I've stayed at, I do not mind. But with that being said, you can check me out. Uh, You can check out my blog, adventureswithstuffers.com. You can check me out on Instagram and TikTok at adventureswithstuffers. You can tweet at me, AsianZing95. And if all else fails, you can shoot me a DM or send me an email. My email is linked on all of my socials as well. I'm really here to help and I'm always trying to help people find the best deal for, you know, a vacation that they will love and enjoy and make really great memories. So please, I am here. Do not hesitate. And I hope you enjoyed this little mini episode, this little tip highlight. I will be back in a couple weeks with the next one, but I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, week, month poop session, whatever you're doing, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.